This has to be one of the most striking pairs of Augustus Rex Meissen vases that I have seen in a very long time. If we look at the bottom, you can see the AR mark, and part of it slightly below the label. But if you look at these scenes, that the painting on them, they're absolutely so subtle, yet they stand out full of expression. Now, if I'm right, this pair are priced between 128 and 80,000. So you can, so tell me more about this pair of vases. Um, well, they are um, made with a red ground, um, which is the rarest ground color at Meissen. Um, they're circus. It's more of a coral ground, isn't it? Yes, it's actually, it's quite interesting because we're not 100% sure how technically they did it, but you can kind of see here, there's a little yellow yes, yes. underneath. So they must yes. have had a yellow underlayer under them, which makes them a little bit coral in color rather than yes, yes, bright, bright red. And it's much, it's much nicer red, I think, than the, the red ground that you're used to in kind of with the landscapes in the 1740s. So this is really kind of the earlier period of red ground in circa 1735. Yes. Um, and I believe this combination also with red ground and the um, chinoiserie scenes, there was only one other vase we could find published and that was in a pre-war auction catalogue and I think it was in the 1720s. Wow. So when was that? Which may sorry, have the been... 70... 1720, uh, okay. sorry, 1920s. 1920s, okay. <laughs> Getting confused there. That's 1920s. Right. 1920s. Yeah. Um, That's still a long time with, ago. Also with chinoiserie scenes. Yes. Um, which may possibly have been intended to be with these in a garniture, but we're not sure because normally bottle vases were intended as pairs and not as garnitures. You're right. I'm with you. Yeah. So a lot of the bottle vases you find. Um, they're normally with so the salad and ground. So who would these ground. be um, painted by? Um, well, I mean, the theory, you could, could theorize that they may have been painted by Leuvenfink. Yeah, that's um, what, that, it was in his style. Yes, they're very much in his style. Um, but I, I don't think there's any way to prove it. No, of course not. There's no that's way to prove it, unless they were signed, but they no, are Oh, that's badly. different, but then my, <laughs> it's just very, I think, there's probably literally a handful of signatures on all, on the, total amount of mice and yeah. that was ever produced yeah pretty much impossible to prove any others i know i know but amazing absolutely amazing yeah. Yeah, thank they you really are incredible this um, is wonderful let me show you the other one as well okay it's nice to be able to yes yeah. To, to see such a ex, they're exquisite, just absolutely yeah. phenomenal. And the wonderful thing about them is, as well, they are from a fantastic um, pre-war collection, the von Pannwitz collection. Uh, Catalina von Pannwitz is a very, very good collector. Um, yes. Of porcelain, but also other things like old master paintings, works of art. When when one looks close, you can see a little bit of wear. The yeah. odd little scratch yeah. here and there. Scratches here and there. But otherwise, they are actually in really excellent condition, which is pretty incredible. Yes. Wonderful. Well, that's all that one can say. Just amazing. Well, thank you very much.